All right, dudes, let's talk about Brahms, The Boy 2, which every time I hear that title, I just think of Damien Omen 2. The Boy 2 is one of those things that, like, I don't know why this was made. Before I even saw the movie, I was like, what is up with this movie? Why is this being made? Towards getting closer to the movie being released, I was like, well, maybe this might be, like, solid like the other one. Because the first boy... I won't spoil it, the first The Boy. I won't spoil it in this review, because I know a lot of people haven't seen it. And I know a lot of people immediately can spoil that movie. But I feel like I, you deserve not to be spoiled. But the, orig the first Boy from 2016 is a movie that has more to do than just being a supernatural doll movie. And it had a twist that actually surprised me genuinely, and I thought that was really cool that they did that in the first movie. And then we got this movie that says, fuck all that, screw everything that happened in the first movie, let's just make a supernatural evil doll movie. And this is what the first movie was looking like it would have been, but it actually had a little bit of surprise to it and a little bit of more elegancy to it. And then you got this movie, which is just... Again, a supernatural doll movie that really, really cribs on Child's Play and Annabelle. Like, it's it's so it's so frustratingly mediocre in that sense, where it's just copying things from Child's Play or things from Annabelle. Like, the kid finding the doll, the kid talking to the doll uh, in private, uh, the doll having a sort of force on him. And it's pretty much just ripping off Child's Play more than Annabelle, but I feel like it's got creepy things like, or it's got things that are perceived as creepy like the Annabelle movies are too, but it's just one of those movies that rips off all these other movies that are better, and it's it's really honestly just a lame movie, and it and again, it just erases, it erases what the first movie did, where like, you look at the first movie like, okay, this is a cool surprise, they did something different with the genre, with a evil doll, supernatural doll movie in the first movie. And then this sequel is just like, yeah, we're just going to do a generic bad horror movie. There's a positive I can give this movie, though. A couple positives. I thought the acting was good. I really actually like Katie Holmes a lot. Love you, Mommy. I love you. She really sold this performance, I thought. I, I really enjoyed her. And the guy, whatever his name is, like the husband, I thought he was good, too. And I thought the actors are all good, but they're just... There's just nothing really to work with, because it's just so lame. It's a very lame movie. I'm honestly having trouble trying to remember something else to say about this movie, because it follows every beat you're expecting, and it is just a complete lame ripoff of, like, Child's Play or Annabelle, that it just really comes off as borderline forgettable. And the first The Boy... I thought did a good job of not be of like for the first two acts being kind of okay like forgettable but then the third act the twist in the first movie really did elevate the movie to something more than like what I expected and I just wasn't entertained by this movie I never had any sort of entertainment to it unfortunately I really wish that I did but I hope there's somebody who likes this movie because again I don't ever want to take away if somebody likes something or dislikes something I have no right to say that you shouldn't. So, for me personally, I didn't really like this movie, but I hope there's someone out there that does. I thought it was just not good, in my opinion. It had a couple okay things about it. Also, the the movie looks pretty. Like the movie looks fine for like its budget. Like it looks like a cool, it looks like it's a little atmospheric, just a tad. I thought that was okay about it too. And also, it shows it in the trailer, but there is an impalement that I didn't expect in a PG-13 horror movie. The movie is just so, for me, so forgettable and so boring, and just a rip off all all these other movies where it's not entertaining. That I just really didn't enjoy this one. So for me personally, this was not one that I enjoyed. I'm really gonna forget about it. I'm honestly, again, having trouble finding stuff to say about it. Hey guys, if you like this video, consider checking out my other content. I review a majority of films that are pretty recent, and also older films, and mostly horror as well. Uh, horror is my favorite genre, so I expect a lot of horror. And check out all my links down below. I have a link to Patreon. I have a link to Instagram, link to Twitter, 
link to my Facebook group, Horror Enthusiast 101, and to my own personal Facebook page, CDR Movie Reviews. And thank you for anybody who watched this video. Thanks for watching.